Good evening and welcome to Compton on this Thursday evening. With the Vic and not the bear and the green cushions. Let's just have a moment of quiet as we begin, shall we? To calm our hearts and our minds. My rest or my soul in God alone. My hope comes from him. Come I this night to the Father. Come I this night to the Son. Come I to the Holy Spirit powerful. Come I this night to God. Come I this night to Christ. Come I with the spirit of kindness. Come I to thee, Jesus. Jesus, shelter me. I will lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. By day the Lord directs his love. At night his song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. Be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. This dwelling, O God, by thee be blessed, and each one who here this night does rest. May God be in my sleep. May Christ be in my dreams. May the Spirit be in my repose, in my thoughts, in my heart, in my soul always, may the sacred three dwell. May the Father of heaven have care of my soul, his loving arm about my body, through each slumber and sleep of my life. The Son of God be shielding me from harm, the Son of God be shielding me from ill, the Son of God be shielding me with power, the Son of God be shielding me this night. Tonight we're thinking about coming and going. Acts chapter 1 verses 6 to 8. Coming together they asked him, Lord is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, it is not for you to know the time or seasons that the Father has laid down by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses both in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. So something for us to ponder this evening. It's the law of nature that what goes up must come down. We cannot have one without the other. In similar fashion, we talk of give and take, and of getting out what we put in. Certain concepts belong together. There is one pair of words, however, that, in the Christian life, at least, we don't perhaps associate as much as we should to do, as we should do, coming and going. We have no trouble with the first. So much of the gospel about coming to Christ is about coming to Christ, receiving his love, enjoying his presence. How often, though, does that coming to him result in going for him? Too easily, what we call discipleship becomes a personal and private affair between us and him. Faith turned inwards instead of outwards. Such an understanding bears little relationship to the call given by Jesus throughout his ministry. His call involved going, uh, following him in sacrificial service, going out to proclaim the gospel and bringing light to others. We need to come to him first of that there is no question for only then can we find the resources that we need to follow his way but if our relationship ends there then we need to look at it very carefully or we may find it ends there in more ways than one so ask yourself this evening is your faith more about what god can do for you than what you can do for him does it result in practical service as well as personal blessing? Lord Jesus Christ, let us pray to him. Father, you do not simply call me to believe the good news. You call me to share it. Forgive me that I so often fail to do that. I am happy to come to you, but reluctant to go out in your name afraid of what might be asked of me, 
and unsure of my ability to respond to the challenge. Help me to understand that discipleship without service is no discipleship at all, and that faith without witness is a denial of everything I claim to believe. Teach me then, not only to rejoice in the love you have shown me, but through word and deed to share in those around me, to share it with those around me, for your kingdom's sake. Amen. Sleep or sleep in the calm of each calm. Sleep or sleep in the guidance of all guidance. Sleep or sleep in the love of all loves. Sleep, O oh beloved, in the Lord of life. Sleep, O oh beloved, in the God of life. The peace of all peace be mine this night, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me and Ted for a small while, and his very small black and white stand-in. Please do take care of yourselves as you look to care for those around you. Remember to pray for yourself as you pray for those around you. And let's continue as I always ask to pray for the world in which we live. Good night and God bless you.